in previous video we have started the new chapter of fertilizer industries in which we have already understand the production of ammonia by saying that different by saying that flow sheet and the process description if you have missed that video you can find it in the i button over here now moving towards the next point that is major engineering problem associated with this hub process in order to manufacture ammonia as you can see that this production of ammonia is being exothermic reaction so we have to consider that thermodynamic kinetics right so as you can see that this ammonia synthesis reaction is very much exothermic reaction if you can recall this previous video we have seen that this exothermic reaction of the ammonia in which we are supposed to liberate or evolve some amount of heat after the reaction is completed so we can say that this ammonia synthesis reaction is exothermic in nature and it liberate some amount of heat so hence as per the law chatterial principle that low temperature and high pressure would be favor this reaction so we have to maintain low temperature as much as possible and we have to maintain high pressure to give higher amount of the conversion but when we try to maintain low temperature the catalyst will not work so you can see here that the cost of high pressure vessel is very high so we have to maintain very much high pressure as you have seen that we are maintaining around 100 to 1000 atmosphere of the pressure inside the reaction vessel so in order to maintain such high pressure we have to use some special type of the matter and which ultimately increases the capital cost of the entire system so we can say that this cost of high pressure vessel are very much high then the fraction of the ammonia in a exist gas is also decrease with the increment in the space velocity so the space velocity is a one term that can be defined as it is the volume of gases at standard condition passed over the catalyst bed per unit time so we can say that it is basically volume of the gas that passes over the catalyst surface in the inside your reactor so as we increases the space velocity of your reactant this conversion of ammonia again decreases by this formula right you can see here that here x is your conversion v is your space velocity right f and n are the constant where n is the order of reaction now moving towards the second major engineering problem and that is catalyst development so the catalyst development plays very crucial role in this production of the ammonia you can see here on the screen that the preparation of the active catalyst that can withstand the high temperature and high pressure condition of your reaction or you can say reactor is very crucial and it is again topic for the research so a research is being taking place to develop such a useful catalyst that can be withstand such a high pressure and temperature catalyst that will allow improved yield at the lower temperature and pressure to reduce the production cost so we are looking for the such type of the catalyst which can also increase our production yield at lower temperature and lower pressure so that we can reduce our production cost of the ammonia then the next thing is that nowadays all catalysts of this process are based on fio so basically we are using iron oxide as the catalyst in order to reduce the cost of the production and we are using promoters such as oxides of aluminum zr and k which are added to the catalyst to increase their porosity and they can withstand high temperature such type of the promoted catalyst is being developed in the euro which allow low temperature and high pressure around 400 degrees celsius and 100 atmosphere so this was the topic for the major engineering problem associated with this process now if we look at for the process design modification different type of the processes is being adopted which varies on the process conditions you can see here that there is a cloudy dew point process in which we are using very high pressure around 900 to 1000 atmosphere and temperature of 500 to 600 degree celsius which gives conversion that is very much high around 40 to 80 percentage in a previous 
In a previous video, we have said that around 8 to 30 percentage of the conversion can be achieved. But if we increase this pressure, that is around 900 to 1000 atmosphere, conversion can also be increased from 40 to 80 percentage. Then if we discuss the second method, that is your Castle method in which high pressure around 600 atmosphere and temperature is being achieved, which again gives relatively low conversion of 15 to 25 percent. Then there is a hub process that we have already discussed, which operate at moderate pressure of 200 to 300 atmosphere and pressure of and temperature of 500 to 550 degrees Celsius, which again gives conversion around 10 to 30 percent that we have seen in the previous video. Now there is a last process that is your Monsen process in which it operates at the low pressure of the 100 atmosphere and temperature around 400 to 425 degrees Celsius, which gives low conversion of 8 to 20 percentage, right? So these are the different process design modification that can be implemented or it, that are used for the manufacturing of the ammonia. Now having said that, let us discuss what are the different industries that use ammonia. Well, this ammonia has been largely used. We have already said that around 90 percentage of the ammonia is being consumed in the fertilizer industry in order to produce different nitrogen based fertilizers. So we can say that almost all of the ammonia is being consumed in the fertilizer industries. Then this ammonia is also used in the petroleum industry for some refrigerated or any other purpose. Then it is also used in the rubber industries. Then ammonia also finds its large application in pale, in paper and pulp industry as well. And lastly, ammonia used in the labor industry or in the or in the fabric industries. So you can say that ammonia is very versatile product and it can be used in many industries. But majority of ammonia is being only consumed by the fertilizer industry only. Now if we discuss the percentage wise the consumption of ammonia we can say that around 25 percentage of ammonia is being directly used for the fertilizer. Then 20 percentage of ammonia is used for the production of urea which is again one more type of the nitrogen based fertilizer. Then 60 percentage of ammonia is being used to produce ammonium phosphate and 12 percentage of ammonia used for the production of the nitric acid. This nitric acid again being used for the fertilizer purpose only. Then 8 percentage of ammonia is used to produce ammonium nitrate, then 3 percentage for ammonium sulphate and only 3 percentage in order to produce acrylonitrite. So this is the percentage wise consumption of the ammonia. Now this concludes the product of ammonia in fertilizer industries. We will now move towards the next product of the nitric acid. This nitric acid is again very important product or we can say important chemical that is again useful for the many industries. This nitric acid is available in different forms, right? You can see here this nitric acid also form constant boiling point azeotrope with water at 110 degrees Celsius. There are different grades available for this nitric acid. 95 percentage concentrated nitric acid is also being used and it is termed as the technical grade, which is mainly used for the laboratory purpose and it is highly concentrated and highly corrosive. Then there is 52 to 60 percentage of the fluming commercial grade nitric acid is also available. This commercial grade nitric acid is being used in different dyes industry and dyes intermediate industry for manufacturing of different type of the dyes. Then red fluming nitric acid that is having concentration greater than 90 percentage is being also used. So you can see that this this is highly concentrated nitric acid which also contains around 10 to 15 percentage of excess dissolved oxide of the nitrogen. So you can imagine that how much concentration of such nitric acid is being there. And it is also being mixed with the sulfuric acid and it termed as the mixed acid. So mixed acid is being nothing but your nitric acid which is being combined with the sulfuric acid, right? So this so now having said that, let us just quickly discuss different properties of the nitric acid. As you can see that this nitric acid can be referred with the formula of HNO3. And it has molecular weight of 63.03 gram per moles. Then its freezing point is around minus 42 degrees Celsius. And boiling point of 86 degrees Celsius. 
then it is very much miscible with the water. So it can easily miscible with the water, but it is again produces heat as this reaction is exothermic. Then specific gravity of the nitric acid is very much high and it is around 1.502. So this was the all properties that can be asked for the one marks in your competitive exam of the MC course. Now let's just discuss the production methods that are used for the manufacturing of this nitric acid. Well, there is a one, well, majority of the nitric acid is being produced by the Oswald method. You can see here that nitric acid is commonly produced by ammonia oxidation Oswald process in which we use ammonia as the raw material in order to manufacture this HNO3. So let's see what are the different raw materials that are being used. You can see here that of course we are going to require ammonia and we need to oxidize this ammonia. So ammonia from this synthesis ammonia process that we have learned in the previous video. Then we require filtered air for the oxidation purpose. And we are going to need this platinum rhodium catalyst for catalyst to enhance the rate of the reaction. And again this platinum rhodium catalyst is very much costly. Now having said that let's just quickly see what are the quantitative requirements of this process in order to produce one ton of the HNO3 acid of the nitric acid of 100% concentration. You can see here that we are going to require anhydrous ammonia around 0.287 to 0.29 tons. We are using anhydrous ammonia so that we can already remove the water content inside the ammonia. Then we are going to need air of 3000 normal meter cube, right? Then we will be requiring platinum that is having 2 to 10 percentage of the rhodium around 0.1 kg. And power consumption will be 10 to 30 kilowatt per hour. Then the process water we are going to need is around 120 tons. And lastly plant capacity of 50 to 250 tons per day can be achieved with this type of the process. So now in the next video we will understand the chemical reaction that is taking place in order to produce this ammonia, this nitric acid and we will understand the flow sheet for this entire process. So now let us just quickly summarize what we have understand in this lecture. We have understand major, major engineering problem associated with the production of the ammonia. And then we have seen the application of the ammonia and percentage wise consumption of the ammonia in India. Then we have moved to the nitric acid and we have seen different properties of the nitric acid and what kind of the method we are using for the production of HNO3. We are mainly using oxidation of ammonia that is your Oswald method. And we have seen what are the raw material and their quantitative requirement for this production of nitric acid. Now in the next video we will discuss in detail the process flow sheet and process description. Till then keep watching keep learning thank you